Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Andre and I've got everything laid out already because today we are making sausages and it's a sausage I've been wanting to do for a long time. I was at the local farmer's market yesterday and they finally had them. Wild blueberries. So we're going to make a blueberry rum sausage. Let's go. I did all the hard work already. I weighed out all the spices so we've got pickling salt, we got a little bit of rice flour, all the spices blended. We've got rum and we've got maple syrup. We've got water. We've got boneless pork butt, some belly trim, and the star of the show, the wild blueberries. I wanted wild because they're smaller and I think when they're in the sausage, they're going to distribute better so when you cut it, it's just going to look better instead of getting these really big ones because they're all much smaller. So let's see what happens. Got the grinder set up. I'm going to grind everything through the coarse plate first. Add the spices and everything, mix it quick, and then we're going to do a final grind through the smaller plate and then add the blueberries because I don't want them crushed. We want to just mix them in. Okay, got that ground. Now we're going to add all the spices. Got the salt. I will list everything below. I am adding a little bit of rice flour. Spices. I've got like thyme, marjoram, sage, a little bit of mint, garlic, pepper, white pepper. I want this like a sweet, little bit sweet, little bit savory. got some rum and I did burn off the alcohol first I tried to do the best I could some uh, real maple syrup to to add that sweet so now I'm just gonna combine everything really quick Smells so good. And I haven't forgotten, we're gonna add the water too. And you can see we're getting some binding already and all that water has basically been absorbed already which is exactly what we want. So anyways, I'm going to change over the grinder and then we're going to start grinding it through the small plate. Got all that done, looks beautiful, smells great. The reason I froze the blueberries is because blueberries are quite soft and break generally, but this way when I throw them in there and through the vigorous mixing, they're not going to all break. That's my theory on this. Beautiful. Boop. I like that. So I got this nice and mixed, looks great, great bind on it. And uh, we're gonna get the stuffer put together now. Okay, here we go. Like always, you wanna fill it up and squeeze out as much air as you can because we don't want it in the sausages. The whole batch went in, that's what I was hoping for. And now to get this guy together. Pull the guard down so we don't lose it. 
And now you can see the sausage emulsion filling the horn. And there we go. And I can't do this with gloves. The casings have been soaking for at least an hour. I rinsed them off because they have a, they're packed in salt to preserve them. Now find the end. I always put a little bit of water down. It helps get them on the horn. And here's the end. Tie a knot, nice and snug. Ooh. Yeah, dangerous. I'm just gonna wipe this down, keep the areas clean as we can. Push this forward a bit. And it's okay if you break it, just cut it and you'll start again. Okay, there's this. And we're gonna just continue, get it all stuffed out. Got it all stuffed out and like always, take the first one, pinch and pinch and twist. And there you make two and fold it over. Pinch, pinch, twist and you got two. And I'm going to just continue and uh, finish these off. Okay, we got these all done. Stuffer is empty. Uh, just a small batch today because I've never made these before and I really have high hopes for them. I'm going to just leave them sit here. They're very cold so I'm not worried about that. And we're just going to get the smoker started. We're at the smoker. We're going to put them in. We're at like 230 which is good. I don't want it any hotter than that. And what's something you should do? Just rinse off the sausages to get any impurities or dirt off them. It's just a good practice. Just do that. Spread them out because we don't want them touching. And into the smoker. And the second stick. I probably could have put them in one, but I don't want to, I didn't want to crowd them. There we go. Like other times doing sausage, I'm going to come back in an hour and check on them because we're just going to cook these to an internal of 71 degrees Celsius or like 160 Fahrenheit. Then they're done. We're back. It's just over an hour. I've been running it 210, 215, which is right where I want it. They're not done yet, but they're looking fantastic. Uh, yep. Oh. Well, anyways, I'm going to finish these off. Next time you see me, we're going to be inside uh, tasting these uh, beautiful sausages. They are done. They look beautiful. Now we got to get some uh, ice on them, but I'm going to just pull two. Okay, you just pull two. You guys ready? I'm ready. They're not as dark as they could be. I don't know. It's uh, I could try to leave them in longer, but they, they already reached 74 degrees Celsius, so that's plenty hot enough. So we're gonna cut one. Oh, look at that. That looks fantastic. Look how juicy they are. Oh my god, they look so good.
That's good. I really like that. Wow. Now you can see why I froze the bl blueberries because this way they're still solid and that's what I wanted. I didn't want them crushed, which is perfect. That's awesome. Great flavor. You do get a little bit of that maple. You do get a little bit of that rum. Oh, so good. Really moist, really juicy. You can't go wrong with that. That's awesome. Well, everybody, I think this is a total winner. I'm totally keeping this recipe. I think you guys, if you're making sausages, try this. And if you feel like tweaking it any other way, go ahead, make it yours. But this is fantastic. Mm, I love it. I'm so happy. That's awesome. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. Definitely leave me some comments. If you have any questions, leave them below as well. I will get to them. And like always, happy eating.